Good job, bro. Look at this joker. Look at these cutters on this joker. Oh, it's gonna make a good hit. Oh, I hope he got cutters on both sides. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna skull mount this thing. Oh, that's gonna be a good skull mount. Yes, sir. All right, so we got the fire going. And we finna put this head in here. So we finna ball that down. That's gonna be number three to my collection. And then I might start selling these bad boys. So we're gonna ball all the flesh off that head. That's the hog, the last big hog we killed. Look at them tusks. That's gonna look pretty good. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna do a quick step-by-step uh, -step how we did this real quick. All right, so here goes the skull without the teeth. So I'll put the and the tusk back in here. And so I'm gonna dry it off. I've already boiled all the flesh off. I just got through washing it in soap. So I'm gonna dry it off. And then I'll paint it, put the teeth back in, uh, super glue those back in. You can kind of manipulate the teeth how long you want them to stick out. The tusk will stick, you know, fit in there like that. And then I'll put it all together and I'll show you the next process. But that's just the skull. Paint it, put it back together. So when, then after you, sometime you boil them, the teeth will fall out because of you clicked all the flesh away. And then you just have to put them back in. And so I'll put the teeth back in and then I'll just super glue them back. Just put the super glue on them. Then we'll put the big cutters back in here and uh, we'll super glue those back in. All right, so I have two skulls I'm doing. So I took the teeth out and I filled them silicone. Just give them a little stability because sometimes they'll get old and they'll kind of crack. But I filled them with silicone to give them a little stability to keep them kind of full because of all of the flesh that I took out of here. Now I'm going to get ready to paint the skull, and then I'll put the teeth back in. I'll polish this up a little bit, though. All right, so we got them painted up. That came out kind of nice. I like that gold color. So I'm gonna, you know, highlight it with a little black accent. I'm gonna dip it, and we'll show you that a little bit in a minute, but I'm gonna let this dry, probably get another coat or two, and uh, we'll see how it comes out, step by step. Look pretty good. So let this paint dry a little bit. I'm gonna paint the underside of it. Paint it a little bit. And that really looks good. I like that gold. So I'm gonna let that dry and get the water ready to do the black. Uh, accents to it stand by i don't know if i like that so i don't want it too too thick i just want highlights you know so i'm gonna redo it again let's try it again all right we'll try that one so then so just take the head I don't like that either. I don't like that color, that pattern either. I'm gonna try it again. Like I said, you can play with this. Keep working with it until you kind of get the effect that you want. Until you get the highlights that you want. Try that one. Do that in here. Take that out. All right, we're gonna try that one. And so now we just take the skull. Oh, no. Yeah, that might work. That that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Be a little different. Just roll it in slow. Submerge it. Wipe stuff around it. 
bring it out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. That came out better than I thought. Only part I don't like is this little bit right here, but look at the face. Look at the sun. And that came out pretty good. I like that. That ain't bad at all, man. Check it out. So now I'm gonna do this jaw. Just a little bit for the jaw. You don't need much for that. You can get a little action on the side for the jaw. We'll do it. We'll just dip the jaw in there. So now there's the lower part. It's not bad at all. So it's gonna sit on top of that. So now we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna gloss this. We're gonna gloss it. Man, that came out pretty good. I kind of like that. I kind of like that bowl. All right, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna move to the next step. All right, so we're gonna put the top teeth in. Like I said, the wetters, they're used to sharpen, so they fit right inside there like that. So once I get them in to where I want them, like that, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna super glue it back. Because remember, we boiled all the flesh away from it. All the flesh has been boiled away, so now we're just gonna super glue that back. Just like that. Then this other one goes in there like this. See that fits in there like that. Force it down there as much as you can. When I turn this back over, you'll kind of see what we're working with. This hog had some big wetters, and uh, normally they're not this big. They break them off, but for some reason, this bad boy has some big ones. So we're just super gluing it. Because like I said, we bought all the flesh away. So now we're gonna super glue it, set it back in place. We're gonna set that to the side, let that dry. Now the bottom, this is the most important part because this is the, the part that really sets it off. These bottom cutters. Now these are the ones that'll hurt you. These teeth are sharp. So now the cool part about this, when it comes to the, the cutters, when you take them out, you can manipulate them however you want. If you want them to be kind of long like that, you can bring them out to make them look kind of long. So what I try to do, I try to match them to the head. So I try to put the head back on because you don't want it to be too long to where it don't look right. So I kind of match it, match the head back up and then I'm gonna bring it out to where it looks. But you know, you do want to manipulate it because you want it to look kind of menacing. So that's gonna be about right right there. See that? So I'm gonna put the other one in. Sink that one in. Put it back. All right, so I'll keep getting off camera. So once you got them to kind of where you want them, so I'm gonna pull this one out a little bit. See, that looks good right there. See, these are his tusks, man. This was a pretty good pig. So he has some nice tusks. All right, fix the camera. All right, so right there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pop a super glue that right there. That's pretty cool right there. So super glue it in place. That's good. Right there. Now. So now I'm gonna let this dry. We'll let the skull dry. So there you have it right there. With that color on there, that accent color. Look at that from the side. Look at that bad boy. 
of those teeth. Dry it on. So now the final touch to this, and it kind of help it stand out a little bit more, even the teeth, we're going to hit it with a little gloss. See, this gloss is going to, um, this is crystal clear gloss. We're going to hit it, make shine, it's going to shine these teeth up and make them stand out a little bit. All right, so let's gloss this bad boy up real quick. Let's see if we can get y'all a little bit. Keep it out of my way a little bit. Hit it with that gloss, make it shine. We hit those tufts with it. Hit the top of it. Hit the sides. Oh yeah. See, it's, it's gonna make make the whole thing just look look wet. The teeth are gonna look wet and shiny. So I do this with my deer antlers too on my skull my on my uh all the mounts that I have, I, I spray the antlers and make them look wet. And it just it just makes it look good. So check this bad boy out now. See, it's got this wet look now. Check it out. See how that tests? They're shining now. Sleep from the side. See, it just looks wet. It'll stay with that wet look. That gloss will dry on it. And just kind of make it shine. There you have it. That's another one. So this is the one I'm doing. The rest of them, I'm going to sell them. So I just had to finish this last one for my collection. And uh, so I got another one to do. And I've already got that one sold. So I'll be doing them and I'll sell them. This one's going to be mine. I'm going to do another one to sell that. There you have it. Look at the colors of that. Look pretty cool. Huh? Inside you, you can test. There you go. There it is. Thank you for watching the Schofields Outdoor Show. That bad boy look good on there, man. Man, that thing look good. All right, so let's give you a little. This is one of the ones we did. There's a big boy we just did. And there's the gray one. So I think I might hit the gray one with a little bit more black accent, a little bit more. And uh, I'll gloss it again. So I did these a while back. There's all three of them. And so they all go in the trophy room. Check them out. See this one, I left the teeth in the color. Predator, the ultimate predator.